Hello, everybody. And welcome back. Mr. Wake, oh. the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. I thank you, good lady. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can uh, call I her the town didn't ask. eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, oh, other things these days. Yeah, I, I kind of didn't ask, so yeah. We're just going to leave. Read? Wait, wait, wait. What are we reading? Okay. Uh, hmm. There's a lot of people missing. I've probably shot them. Not no Come in, also. Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Sweet. Have you started looking for my wife yet? Hey. My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. Oh hey, joy. Mister. Working for good. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't they don't understand. Sure. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey. You're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. Hey, except you know, for me, I and I say that he here. is being the early morning ass. light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. I'm going to defy him by coming and turning on this radio and getting this coffee. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. Just have one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Mm. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Okay. Focus. Is that it? Okay. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police oh, station. Sweet. There was something filming in an abandoned car. Okay, you know what? No, this needs to be said. You, yes, you, will get winded for a few seconds of running. But you have supposedly some mighty kick that can kick all the wood in one kick and one fell blow. I don't think so. Shenanigans. Very much so. Alright, what does the paper have to tell us? The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Fair enough. It's Are true these? what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Okay. 
This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red, a gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Okay. You know what? Good to know, I think. So what's the deal with the truck? Alice's driver's license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. As soon as you can learn to jump over fences. Well, at least we have someone that's helping us out. Ah. The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. I thought you said you were supposed to think about that. It's marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regret. Okay. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, oh, hey, oh my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Well, at least I have someone looking out for me. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? I don't know. You're what not an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Thank she you, even Barry. has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? 
No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, Do and everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. <sighs> okay, I agreed with half of what he said. I'm stealing this coffee, and nobody's gonna stop me. Not even Barry. I agree with half of what you're saying. At least you were gave it enough for him about Rose. And that he she's a nice Easy girl. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Is that the dog hey, from the radio? Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kinda full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Oh, Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the You can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. I'm kind of surprised that you're still, like... You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing... It... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, jeez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this yes, sounds. Yes, I do, so shush. I think this oh. is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. All right. Too bad I can't take my beloved Alice, the one who understands. Try to pull a joke on me. Freak me out? It's working. Ha ha! Let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. <sighs> Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air. Yes. Ah, jeez. Okay, Barry. That's just crazy talk, Al. Ay. Al. Al? We Look should go to the sheriff or off. call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer! This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. A yokel. What the heck is a yokel? Nothing I've ever heard of. I'm stealing my own coffee. Oh, thank you. Oh, what? I, I lost all my gun? Scrolly? Dang it. Well, I guess I would have had to dispose of all the guns before the sheriff came and saw how armed I was. Can you mess with us? No. Dang it. At least create a fire, in a sense. Bird. I'll Bird doesn't wait work. here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with your spirit every. Yes, away, yes, Al. Barry. Yes, Barry. We're, I'm gonna continue now, cause I, as much as I appreciate the jibber jab, there's a lot of jibber jab. What's it say? Barry had never gotten along with Alice. But he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Oh, I don't doubt that. Now, are we getting here? Oh, we can. Barry had the keys to the car oh. he rented. 
wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Well, you know what? It never I knew hurts I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Okay, you know what? It sounds like you're really just doing it in spite of everything. What the? Okay. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in here. Just a radio. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just nice. parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's what? your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> no plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Hang on a Tell me about it. No sack race for us older. <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm going to check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. <laughs> Well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a large mouth bass early this morning. Oh, it's that guy. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Guess that's all. So... Hmm. I know I saw a person. I know I did. Let's see, just suppose it down this way. Hmm. No, just no. No moving of stuff. No moving of stuff while I'm around. <sighs> just no. 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 Just mosey along to the next house. See if we can gather up some more supplies before we meet the kidnapper of our beloved 